Next day, 6.30 in the morning, we're going to see how this brisket turned out. First of all, it's beautiful. Dry rubbed it. Just salt and pepper, onion, powder, garlic. That's all I did. I wanted to keep it simple. And everybody had great recipes, but um, I just wanted to try one of them. Just simple. Here's the thing. This thing is was as big as this turkey pan and it rendered down to this that's a, that's uh six cups of rendering that you can make gravy or something else with hell you can make candles with it too anyway now family i'm gonna be honest with you this cooked way better way easier than I thought. This is my first brisket ever. And I thought it was going to be like this big tough deal and no. This thing fell apart as you can see right here. Matter of fact, let's bring this in a little bit. It's enough looking at the beauty of mm -hmm. it. Look at this. You can see right there, right? Let's open this back up. As you can see, it's falling apart. You see that? I didn't even need a knife. I'm just pulling this thing apart. So it worked. Oh, I don't I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is just for show, as you see. Let's just put this to the side. We clearly don't need that. What we need is this guy. See that? What? Get out of here. I just slow cooked it just like I would slow cook a normal pot roast. And as you can see, it turned out incredible. So all I did, you guys, I put it in my oven at 250 and I let it cook overnight at uh, slow roaded. 250, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, let it roll. And all I did was add um, two caps of white distilled vinegar in the bottom for acid. I rubbed it with uh, sea salt and black pepper, garlic powder and onion powder. I just was just playing around, experimenting. And as you can see, it turned out like this. Oh, of course, I covered it with the lid and it turned out excellent. I'm pulling this apart with no problem, as you see. So that thing gonna melt in your mouth. Look at that, look at that. Straight flaky. Get out of here, get out of here. Seasoned to perfection, it's full of flavor. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna last a long time, I can tell you that. I'm gonna have to spread this around and share this with my whole family because this is entirely too much meat. This is a turkey pan of, full of brisket. Like I said, still got a whole other half that I'm gonna throw in cans, so my family will enjoy this. I might, it's so much meat here, I will, I will definitely share it with the family and probably freeze some of this. This is this is entirely too much meat. You can eat this forever. Let's get that out. All right, let's taste that sucker because I know that's what we're waiting on. Let's do this. All right, fam, it's early in the morning. I'm just waking up and I wanted to get this out of the oven and show you guys, so let's give it a taste. This is the piece that I just had on the uh, camera. As you can see, it's shredded, it's falling apart. Full of flavor, loaded. 
this worked way better. So everybody that gave me those simple recipes of white salt, pepper, garlic. I didn't do real garlic. I didn't do real onions because I wasn't sure how long I was going to be cooking this thing. So I just did a little powder. Boom. Worked out great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got that. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's so freaking good. <clears throat> I would have paid full price for that. <laughs> Sell or not, that's a lot of meat. Listen to me, family. That is a lot of meat, and I'm gonna show you this. I'll give you a better idea of what I was talking about. That's a turkey, a big turkey roaster full of beef brisket. Okay, after it's rendered down, and this is what rendered off of this. Now, I still got a whole nother turkey pan full of meat because it was as big as two turkey pans right here that I'm going to throw in cans, as you can see. This is the marble side, and I kept this one because I kind of wanted that flavoring in there. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get some brine going and brine these up before I can them. I thought this brisket was going to be a lot harder to cook than what I thought. Everybody was, oh yeah, it's going to take like a whole day and this and that, and, and probably with you smoking it and everything, but as you can see, just like a normal pot roast to me. So I think when I can it, it's gonna turn out just like this. The only difference is, if it doesn't turn out like that, and it is still tough, I thought about something. I can't take credit for that, Lady Led was saying this. Even if it turns out tough, you can still take it back out the jar and cook it some more, right? Because what we're trying to get is we're trying to store this. I got six of these things. So all we have to do is cook it again and make it like that if it is tough. So it's a win-win situation. So that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. Look at that. The brisket bandit baby. Meat slap. <laughs> Thunder slap. There you go. Oh, that's good. So there you go, people. Next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video canning this meat. I didn't want to show this because I just wanted to get it over with. I didn't have no room for the sixth one. I was like, I gotta cook this. I got to. No more freezer space, no more nothing. I gotta cook it. So I couldn't be videotaping everything I did. The next one I will, but I'm gonna be honest, this is so much meat. It'll be a while before I cook another one. This is a lot of meat. And uh, I'm a meat eater, but I don't eat this much meat. This is a lot. Of Frick fracking meat. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna say this before I go. Even if you don't find a brisket marked down to like apocalyptic prices, it's worth whatever you about to pay. 
It this tastes like I just bought a giant ribeye. That's what it tastes like. It's tender. It's flavorful, like a ribeye steak. If you know what a ribeye tastes like, it's it's full of flavor. It's loaded with flavor. It's super tender. That's what this is. A gigantic. That's my favorite steak, by the way. This is a gigantic ribeye. So that's it, you guys. Left Farm Seven Three. Hope this helped you. I love you, and I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Okay, that's enough playing with my meat. <laughs> that's it. <laughs>